Hello to my Padawans, I'm your Jedi Master today, and I would like to welcome you guys to this episode of Uncovering Star Wars Lore. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about Jolie Bindo. Jolie's first appearance in Star Wars media came in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, the game from 2003. So Jolie Bindo was a Jedi who served the Jedi Order during the Great Sith War, and afterwards he ended up exiling himself personally to Kashyyyk. So Jolie joined the Jedi Order and trained in the ways of the Force at the Coruscant Jedi Temple. As a Padawan, his masters would always consider him very brash and often reckless. He would almost always defy the orders that were given to him because he did what he felt was right. One of the many examples is his actions during the blockade of the Yucatus system. So what was happening in the Yucatan system is the king was cutting the entire system off from the rest of the galaxy and they weren't able to get food, supplies, medical help and the Senate was not helping. So Jolie decided to help the people himself. He got a ship and they stole from rich people much like Robin Hood and gave to the poor. They also ran supplies through the blockade and gave them the medical attention they needed until eventually he was shot down and on the planet he actually ended up meeting his wife Nayama. The two ended up getting married but the Jedi Council was not too fond of the marriage. He found out that his wife was actually very strong in the force and took her to get training despite the fact that the High Council did not want this to happen. Unfortunately, during the war with Exar Kun, his wife fell to the dark side, as many Jedi did during that time, and she tried to turn Jolie, but he resisted her. And this ended up turning into a lightsaber duel, which he won, but he let her go because he could not kill his wife. He loved her. However, this ended up leading to the deaths of several Jedi. Until eventually, she was also killed in battle. The Jedi Council, however, relinquished Jolie from any punishment because they had felt that he had learned his lesson the hard way. He was offered the position of Jedi Knight and... That is when Jolie ended up exiling himself, giving up his hopes and dreams of being a Jedi Consular. Shortly after this, he spent a year with his good friend Sunri, but after that year, Jolie decided to wander the stars, going from planet to planet for years and having a job here and there. For a little bit, he was even a smuggler and would use his Jedi mind trick to his advantage get past customs and make deals. He ended up crashing on Kashyyyk and found himself in the Shadowlands where he stayed for the next 20 years. The Wookiees believed him to be a forest spirit calling him the hairless one. They left gifts and fruits outside of his house until he explained what was really going on. Funnily enough the Wookiee Freyr actually knocked Jolie out because he wanted to see if Jolie was a solid creature. However, Jolie still remained friends with the Wookiees as he lived by their rules and even helped them protect the Shadowlands and its wildlife from evil poachers such as the Zerka Corporation. And while he would go through the forest, he'd always have his lightsaber equipped ready for battle in case he ever had to use it. During his adventures through the forest, he ended up fighting the Star Map. He met after 152 attempts to communicate with it, he gave up. Not knowing that the computer had been reprogrammed by Revan while he was on Kashyyyk with Malak. So that it would not respond to anybody but Revan himself. Okay, I'm going to go through the what happens in Knights of the Republic one more time during it, whenever you meet Jolie. If you guys want to watch the Knights of the Republic playthrough... I will have a link to mine in the description box below, as well as a link to a completed one down in the description box below, both commentated and uncommentated. Make sure to go check it out. So, you as Revan are going through the Shadowlands a second time, and 
you encounter Jolie Bindo. He is fighting a pack of Katarns, and he attaches himself to the party after you help him with some poachers. He actually knows of Revan's true identity right from the start, but decides he doesn't give a damn. On Manon, you help Jolie t try to defend Sunri, however, it ends up becoming the fact that Sunri is actually guilty for his crimes. Jolie often tries to teach Revan that the power of the dark side and the power of the light side are not the same exact thing, but rather, he actually has a neutrality with the Force, making him a great Jedi. After crashing on Ricotta Prime, Jolie actually manages to convince the Ricotta to let him and Juhani go with Revan into the temple, and they all end up defeating Darth Malak in his crusade to destroy the Republic. After this, Jolie went off the radar at the end of the Dark Wars. He ended up serving the High Council in an absentee rule for many, many, many years and ended up disappearing completely. He left behind many articles of clothing that were believed to be his during Mitra Sudik's journey to rebuild the Jedi Order. A hollow statue of him was made in the Leisure Garden of Axial Park in the Cornet city of Corellia, along with his companions Revan and the other party members. Okay, that is going to conclude it for this episode of Uncovering Star Wars Lore. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a like. It does help out a lot. Tell a friend today about my Star Wars channel. It's pretty awesome. And may the Force be with you. Always.